Hello, hello guys. Today we have this one. This one is Techno Pop Pop 8 uh, Techno Spark Go 2024. This phone is dead, and then the customer do not doesn't know what happened to this phone. Now we are going to troubleshoot the problem of this phone. Yes. So anytime you get a phone to repair. You ha we have to check the voltage of this battery. If we, uh, we have to check if the battery has enough voltage to power on the phone. Okay. Now we want to check this battery. We want to see if it has enough voltage. Okay. You see there. It has 2.9. This is very very low. It should have 327 to power on this phone. Yeah, but there is no matter. We are going to use the to use our DC power supply. Okay. Yeah. As you see, these are these are good cables. Yeah. Okay. Let me use this boot cable from my DC power supply. Okay, now I want to place, I want to place the power key and see if the phone is okay. Oh, I hear, I hear a vibration. Yeah, now the phone vibrates when we place the power key. It's a sign of life, life of this phone. This phone is working, but there is no image there is no light you see it is in a strip more there in black screen this it is still black in black yes but here we see that the phone is, cons is consuming some ampere this is a sign of life the phone is working but there is no image okay now we want to check the backlight, the light of this phone. The first, the first thing we have to do is to check the backlight ways. The this line. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me show you on the schematic here. Yes. Okay. As you see here, let me zoom in this. This line in is for backlight negative light and this one is positive light. So we have to check from here to here if there is no disjunction or no cutoff. Yes. If you measure with our multimeter and find that this is the line, this line is continuing from here to here, we will continue measure it let me do like this uh, again yeah this line is this line comes from here until there okay let me zoom in you see from this diode to this capacitor the this resistor to this capacitor until here okay now we have to check if there is a continuity a continuity yeah, if you find the, the continuity there it means that this line is okay yes okay let me check the line that i wish i show with you okay then we have to do like this you hear a sound from my, our multimeter? Yes. Okay. This the first line is supposed to be here. You see? This means that this line is okay. And then we continue from here to here to this capacitor. Okay. This resist. Okay. 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 Until here. Okay. This line, the positive line, is okay. 
now we have to check the negative line the, the negative line is a uh, is i showed you on the, the schematic the negative line comes from here comes to here 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 until this is the first first tv now we want to check Okay. We want to check if from here to here to the connect the connect if there is no junction. Yeah. Okay. Let me start from here. Okay. Okay. Let me check this line must be here you hear that there is a continuity this is mean this means that there is no problem from here to here let me continue to this pin okay yeah here about the line there is no problem and then we have to check this this line and to check it we have to put our multimeter in dialed mode let me show you if there is no problem about the positive line or the diode let me check the diode see here this diode is okay it's working let me do like this to check to check the diode we do like this it will show it will show you values on one side that's it means it means that this diode is okay and then the coil check the coil here a sound yeah and then we have to check this IC to check this IC to check this IC we have to put our multimeter here on the ground to check any uh, any pin these two pins are for uh, are for negative like this this one it's okay you see the value okay we are checking the pins of the uh, our ic here uh, we get value and then here we get value there is no problem about ic and the diode and then the coin and then we find that there is no problem from here to here but there is another way with that we didn't check okay this line you see this line lcd cabc this line uh, can cause problems sometimes yes okay we have to check it from here number we have to check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. The pin number 16. You have to check if there is a continuity to this resistor. Yeah, okay. The, uh, this way, it starts from here come to this resistor this resistor until the 16 pin yeah let me show you let me check we also we always work on beeping mode yeah have to check the pin number 16 the pin number 16 is this 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवेन एट नाइन टेन इलेवेन टुवेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन दिस पिन इज पिन नंबर सिक्सटीन इट इज शुड डू अलाइव हियर ओके यू डिड इन हियर एन साउंड हियर ऑन दिस रेजिस्टर इवन हियर even here there is no sound this means that there is a disjunction between this point and this one so what you have to do we have to make a jump from here to here and check if our mobile phone will show us something okay this time was about troubleshooting yes okay let me make a jump from that point to the pin number 16 okay let me do like this on the pin number 16 Okay. There I come to the resistor. Let me scratch it so that it can be well connected to this resistor. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. I mean, damage this line. Okay, you see that I make I made a jump. So let me check if the phone will show us something. Okay, I connected the LCD. Let me connect the battery. No, the battery doesn't have enough voltage to power on this phone. Let me power on the phone. Look at here and then look at the DC power supply. My DC power supply. If it fails, it is because of I think that I have damaged the uh, resistor. Resist, the resist. But I will check if I damaged it or not. Let me power on the phone. Look at. Wow. Fix it. Every time you have to troubleshoot your mobile phone and then see what is the problem. Here we had the problem of backlight. I see. Here the problem was this line. Let me show you again this line. This line, the LCD CABC. Now this line was missing. Now I make a jump from here to here on this system yes okay now the phone is fixed yes so let me thank you for watching this video then try to like this video comment on this video and then share it to your friend so that they may know what is going on now know what is going uh yeah thank you for watching my video see you soon in the next video okay